These are the big rituals of the world, folks. And people need to start talking about them as rituals, as death rituals, because that's what they are. And here's the time to watch for them. It's something that you, myself and other researchers have brought forward and explained to people. This is the time period they do this stuff. They love this time period. They'll do it any time of the year. But I'm telling you, they love the, 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 from the spring equinox to May Day. This is their preferred time for blood sacrifice. And there's a reason for it. On the third day after the spring equinox, the sun breaks past the equatorial line, the equator, and it fully emerges from its, quote, tomb of the southern hemisphere, as we talked about, the season of death when the sun is in the southern hemisphere and the season of life when it is in the northern hemisphere. This represents the sun, quote, rising from the dead, Christ rising from the tomb, to begin its journey toward its highest power at the summer solstice, when they do their cremation of care ritual on midsummer. In sun worshiping traditions of the past, animal sacrifice and sometimes human sacrifices were offered during the 40 days between the spring equinox and May Day, mid spring. This is the planting season of the year, and the sacrifices were made to the sun and earth, who were viewed as great spirits to ensure a bountiful food harvest. The 40 days between March 22nd and May 1st are known as the occult season of sacrifice. 40 days is a significant time period in biblical and occult terms. Be particularly vigilant for false flag mega ritual, mega death ritual events during these, this time, this 40 day period. And they are human sacrifice rituals. That's exactly what they are. So the number 322, March 22nd, that's the beginning of the season of sacrifice. The cult of death, known as Skull and Bones, uses that number. It's a funny anecdotal story. When I gave the natural law seminar in New Haven, Connecticut, when Art put us up in the hotel, he didn't even know it. We had room 322 at the hotel where I stayed. And you know, hey, that's where Skull and Bones is at. It was almost like they were saying, hi Mark, thanks for coming. So this is the time period really to watch for blood sacrifice rituals, mass blood rituals. Look at how many have occurred only in the last couple hundred years. The battles of Lexington and Concord, the British attacked Lexington and Concord, April 19th, 1775. And while they slaughtered many of our men at Lexington, we handed them their ass at Concord. The Baltimore riots, 13 killed, April 19th, 1861. The sinking of the Titanic, 1,512 deaths, April 14th and 15th, 1912. Assassination of Martin Luther King, April 4th, 1968. The Waco massacre, April 19th, the anniversary of Lexington and Concord, 1993. The Oklahoma City bombing. Same day, April 19th, Battle of Lexington and Concord Anniversary, 1995. Port Arthur, Australia Massacre, April 28th, 96. Heaven's Gate Cult Suicides, March 26th, 1997. West Side Middle School Massacre in Arkansas, March 24th, 1998. Columbine High School School Shootings, Mass Shooting Ritual, April 20th, Hitler's Birthday, 1999. Iraq War, the beginning of the Iraq War, shock and awe bombings, March 19th. Okay, that's technically the, the spring equinox, 2003. It's the day, day I was appointed priest in the Church of Satan. That's the day LeVay did all of his appointments, March 19th. Virginia Tech school shooting massacre, April 16th, 2007. The Moscow Metro bombings, March 29th, 2010. The BP oil spill began April 20th, 2010, Hitler's birthday. Libya was invaded on March 19th, 2011. The Boston Marathon bombing, April 15th, 2013. It's just coincidence. Watch this time period. Occultists kill a lot of people during that time period because of their sick, twisted belief system. 